The Windy City has been injected with a sense of attitude as we welcome you to the live season premiere of Monday Night Raw! We are inside the Allstate Arena in Chicago, Illinois, where tonight, for the first time since SummerSlam, the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns is in action. Damian Priest threw down the gauntlet. He kicked the Usos off of Raw. He has defeated Solo Sokoa in the past. Can he complete the Bloodline Trilogy here tonight? And speaking of the Bloodline and Solo Sokoa himself, he's walking away with some battle wounds from the gauntlet match last week, but he walks into the wildfire against Dirty Dominic Mysterio and contests for the Intercontinental Championship here tonight. And kicking us off in moments, who will be the man to challenge AJ Styles for the WWE Championship on October 19th at Bad Blood? Will it be the megastar, LA Knight, or will it be the Second City Saint himself, CM Punk? Well, we are not going to have to wait long for that answer as the number one contender's bout kicks things off live from Chicago. The man who lost his WWE Championship without even being pinned just a few weeks ago at No Mercy returns home tonight to a raucous crowd and is looking to stake his claim as the number one contender. Bad Blood is coming your way Saturday night, October the 19th, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. The phenomenal AJ Styles will defend the WWE Championship that he won at No Mercy on that night. But will it be against the megastar LA Knight or will it be against the former champion CM Punk? It was just a few months ago that CM Punk waltzed into this very building in his hometown in Chicago as the WWE Champion live at the main event of Monday Night Raw. Tonight he returns a potential challenger and a man looking to make his way through LA Knight. The superstar who cost CM Punk the WWE Championship just a few weeks back in Montreal. Should be a very interesting contest as we kick things off. And his opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. As much as CM Punk may want to get back his WWE Championship, LA Knight has all the motivation to, get, to want to get in the ring with AJ Styles himself. No shortage of history over the last few months between the megastar and the phenomenal one. You remember it was LA Knight and AJ Styles in the finals of the Eliminator last month. The winner was set to move on to No Mercy. The matchup went to a double countout. AJ Styles laid waste to LA Knight at ringside. Knight has really yet to get his retribution. Well, nonetheless, Chicago is loud. Chicago is proud. Allstate Arena is sold out. And we are set for a number one contenders battle. CM Punk and LA Knight opening things up here on the season premiere of Monday Night Raw. Got to imagine some bad blood between these two superstars as well, especially with the respect that has been there in the past. But after the last few weeks, I... I think it's safe to say that respect has gone out the window. LA Knight, of course, the man pinned in the triple threat matchup at No Mercy 
costing CM Punk the WWE Championship to AJ Styles. Just 48 hours later, CM Punk defeating Carl Anderson here on Monday Night Raw was ambushed by Luke Gallows after the bout. LA Knight came to the save, and CM Punk showed on that night that he does not need anybody's help to get back at AJ Styles. Dropped LA Knight with a go to sleep in the middle of the squared circle, and now we have their path cross once again here tonight. And CM Punk is not gonna hold any punches in an attempt to get back the WWE Championship on Saturday night, October the 19th. I'm sure the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, as well as the rest of the OC, the big LG, Luke Gallows, and the machine gun, Carl Anderson, are not watching from afar, keeping their eyes on two potential challengers. LA Knight, as we mentioned, has got all his own motivation to want to get back at AJ Styles. Styles defeated LA Knight back in the month of July, right here on Monday Night Raw, and then that double countout that we mentioned that inevitably caused the triple threat matchup at No Mercy. Regardless of who has more of a stake to get in the ring with AJ Styles at Bad Blood, it all comes down to who gets the final decision in your opening bout tonight. And it's certainly going to be a monumental night of action here in Chicago. As you saw in the opening previews, Roman Reigns is in the house tonight as he goes one-on-one -on -one with one half of the world tag team champions, Damian Priest. That coming your way in the main event and so much more. CM Punk, tilt to world head scissors. Nicely executed, getting LA Knight off his feet. You know, we talk about CM Punk and LA Knight, and the history between these two superstars is back at WWE Live in August, and LA Knight actually challenged CM Punk for the WWE Championship. Came up short, but it was respect that was built. And what hell of a main event between those two superstars. Of course, LA Knight had dropped CM Punk with a blood force trauma in the weeks leading up to No Mercy. Just a few days before, right here on Monday Night Raw, these two superstars went one-on-one. -on -one. No decision was made thanks to the arrival of AJ Styles, who wiped out CM Punk with a Styles Clash. Now their pass cross again in hopes to become the number one contender. Gotta imagine AJ Styles, as we mentioned, is keeping a close eye on this matchup. You also have to wonder if Styles has a preference here on who he'd like to challenge. Styles has left CM Punk laying time and time again. He's also pinned LA Knight's shoulders to the mat in recent months. Not sure if the phenomenal one favors one superstar or another, but regardless of what AJ Styles believes, one of these men will go on to bad blood in Boston. CM Punk hoisted on top. LA Knight's wheels are a spinning. Look at the agility out of the megastar. And superplex to the Second City Saint. Will that be all she wrote? Not just yet, CM Punk still alive. Close call there in this number one contenders matchup, but CM Punk may be hurt. Wait a minute, blood force trauma. Knight going for the kill. Will it be the end? Not just yet. CM Punk desperately getting his shoulder off the canvas. LA Knight had to believe he had CM Punk beat. The superplex off the top. Great agility shown by Knight. Follow that up with a blood force trauma. But unfortunately for him, the former WWE Champion is still in this matchup. We saw what length CM Punk has been willing to travel to originally obtain that title back in July. Imagine what he's willing to go through to get it back. Punk said he returned to WWE this past January with one goal, and that was to become the WWE Champion. He accomplished that at Money in the Bank a few months ago. Now he's looking to do it all over again. Able to survive some of LA Knight's best, but does CM Punk now have enough left in the tank to try to stack up some offense and keep down one defiant LA Knight? Knight knows what it's like to be a champion. Held the Intercontinental title this time last year. But for months has been in search of the WWE title. CM Punk may have just neutralized those hopes and dreams. Pile driver in the middle of Chicago. Knight getting the shoulder up, but you gotta believe the damage is done. 
Unk loving to pull out that pile driver in high profile matches. We've seen it back at King of the Ring in January, or excuse me, in June. We saw it at Money in the Bank at SummerSlam as well. CM Punk relying on such a devastating maneuver. And certainly rubbing some salt in the wounds, dropping LA Knight wearing the hardest part of the ring. LA Knight might have shown his best hand, and now he's on spaghetti legs at ringside. All the while CM Punk's wheels are a-spinning, he is getting a full head of steam. Tope Su is seated to the outside. We have got a good one on our hands, live and in living color in Chicago, Illinois. LA Knight sent back inside the squared circle, while CM Punk hopes to put this matchup away. Oh, there's a reversal there. LA Knight looking to prove that his road to the WWE Championship comes to an end at bad blood, but he's got to get through CM Punk and then inevitably AJ Styles to do so. Punk taken down off the reverse burning hammer. Both of these men have expended a lot of energy over the last few minutes, have thrown some of their best. This is where fatigue starts to set in and matches like this with such high profile stakes really start to become a war of attrition. Just rejected that time as both men are seemingly jockeying for position. Trying to see who is going to get that sustained momentum. CM Punk now up against the ropes as LA Knight is seemingly in the driver's seat. Punk knocked down momentarily and LA Knight putting his own body in harm's way. We may be in Chicago, but all around the world, these audiences sing the same song of LA Knight. Two of the most popular, polarizing superstars on Monday Night Raw today, battling it out for the number one contendership. CM Punk looking lifeless, sent back between the ropes, and LA Knight may have an opportunity to put the nail in the coffin of this matchup. Punk dropped right on his knee. LA Knight clearly just trying to pick apart CM Punk bone by bone. Anything he can do to knock CM Punk off his feet and keep him there. You also got to wonder what's going through LA Knight's mind. He already hit that massive superplex. It's got to take a lot out of the megastar as well. He hit the blood force trauma. It did not put away CM Punk. Does Knight have any different tricks in the arsenal? Going to have to wait to see as CM Punk reverses that time. LA Knight wanted to get back to his feet in the corner, but now he's been put in a precarious situation by Punk. Wait a minute here. Oh man, Pepsi plunge by CM Punk. We haven't seen that move in ages. And now going to the top is the second City Saint. He's going to have this match won here. Not just yet. LA Knight's still alive. What a combination of maneuvers by Punk. The Pepsi plunge off the ropes. Follow that up with the elbow drop. And CM Punk, although hurt, is feeling confident. Knight once again into the corner. Punk drops him with an E. And now he's on the shoulders. Go to sleep. CM Punk delivers the same maneuver that he did two weeks ago. And it's the victory for the second city save. A valiant effort by the Megastar, but he will have to live to fight another day to get his opportunity at AJ Styles. Tonight belongs to Chicago's own new number one contender, CM Punk. CM Punk will go one on one with AJ Styles for the first time in a WWE ring on Saturday night, October the 19th, live from the team. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. AJ Styles is here at ringside. AJ Styles is approaching the ring. CM Punk is realized. Phenomenal forearm by the WWE champion.
AJ Styles once again has left CM Punk looking up at the lights. And this time it's in his own hometown. Styles seemingly always getting the last laugh. But what will happen on the 19th of October when these two gentlemen meet one on one for the WWE Championship at Bad Blood? Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. Yesterday afternoon, the action emanated from Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York. As the 2024 Cruiserweight Classic commenced, action to behold as NXT's Dragon Lee contested the LWO's Cruz Del Toro from SmackDown, an exhilarating contest that saw Dragon Lee advance to the quarterfinals where he awaited the winner of this contest between TNA Wrestling Zachary Wentz and SmackDown's exciting Nathan Frazier. These two men, Wowing New York City time and time again with their explosive offense and in the back half of the matchup Although Zachary Wentz throwing everything he had it was Nathan Frazier who survived and moved on Well, the action is going to continue this Sunday afternoon at 12 noon Eastern as NXT's Javon Evans takes on Smackdown's Akira Tozawa in first round action also coming up Sunday at the Cruiserweight Classic, Wesley one-on-one -on -one with Axiom. Another matchup that is sure to take New York City by storm. Do not miss the Cruiserweight Classic each and every Sunday afternoon for the next eight weeks at 12 noon Eastern time. And before we get to the Cruiserweight Classic on Sunday, we got women's division action coming up this Wednesday on Velocity. Lyra Valkyria has exploded on the scene here on Monday Night Raw. She turned away the challenge of Alba Fire last week. This Wednesday, she meets Isla Dawn of the Unholy Union. Go ahead and scan the QR code on your screen. Be sure to follow over on the No Nation Gaming TikTok and don't miss a moment of the action each and every Wednesday on Velocity. Some in-ring competition that'll take New York City by storm on Sunday. Velocity going down each and every Wednesday. But what about right here tonight in Chicago? We're set for tag team action and really some bad blood, no pun intended, looming out of last week's Raw. Welcome to the generation of and although it may be a little bit of an awkward pairing, Cora Jade and Bianca Belair with a common enemy to take down here at Chicago. Cora Jade returning to her hometown, still the WWE Women's Champion after retaining her title less than two weeks ago at Queen of the Ring in the triple threat matchup. And we say awkward pairing between Cora Jade and Bianca Belair tonight because things have really not gone Bianca Belair's way and all the luck has been in the corner of the generation of Jade over the last two months. Cora, of course, cashing in her money in the bank on Bianca Belair back at SummerSlam in August to win the championship. And it really seemed like Bianca had the triple threat match in New York City won at Queen of the Ring. It was just Cora Jade who found herself in the right place at the right time, getting Bianca out of the ring and pinning Rhea Ripley to retain her gold. Well, this matchup stemming out of Monday Night Raw last week, Bianca Belair 
turning away Chelsea Green in one-on-one -on -one action. Piper and Chelsea challenging Bianca Belair to a tag team matchup tonight. Raw management pinning Cora Jade as the tag team partner. I'm sure Cora Jade not saying no to an opportunity to perform here in her hometown of Chicago, especially as the women's champion. Things got to be a little bit awkward between herself and the EST, Bianca Belair. I am sure a mutual respect between those two competitors. But nonetheless, they fight here tonight on the same side of the ring. We'll also talk about the history between Bianca Belair and Cora Jade. It was just two weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw that those two women went one-on-one. -on -one. Bianca pinned Cora Jade in one-on-one -on -one action. Very well could have been the result at Queen of the Ring had Rhea Ripley and an X Factor not been involved. Nonetheless, Bianca Belair, I am sure, has her sights on getting across the ring from Cora Jade once again to contest for the WWE Women's title. But that is gonna have to wait as tonight, they got a deal with Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. You wanna talk about two women who can't be in a good mood, look no further than the pairing in the black and blue tonight. Chelsea Green, of course, coming up short sure to Bianca Belair, who just went skyward here in Chicago. Last week on Monday Night Raw, that was 48 hours removed from a six-woman tag team loss as Chelsea Green, Piper Niven, and Sonya Deville fell short against Becky Lynch, Bailey, and the returning Charlotte Flair in Madison Square Garden. Of course, speaking of the Queen, Charlotte Flair, she will return to action live next Monday night on Raw from Minneapolis. But tonight, Piper Niven and Chelsea Green look to get back into the conversation here on Monday Night Raw by turning away two of Raw's top picks in Bianca Belair and Cora Jade. And speaking of such, here comes the Women's Champion. Cora Jade sending Chelsea Green down momentarily. And Chelsea Green, within a matter of an instance, looking very similar to that she did last week. Or maybe we spoke too soon. If there is any pairing of women who would love to spoil this homecoming for Chicago's own, Cora Jade, look no further than Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. All this talk about the Queen of the Ring event, we can't forget about the Queen of the Ring tournament itself. That was, of course, won by the center of the universe, Tiffany Stratton. And Stratton has, of course, been challenged by Liv Morgan to a semi-final rematch. And that's going down later tonight here in the All-State Arena. Liv and Stratton tearing things up in Madison Square Garden. They're going to run it back tonight. Will the result be any different for one Liv Morgan? All remains to be seen. And Cora Jade getting scrappy with Piper Niven inside of that ring. Cora has proven to be anything upon her rise here on Monday Night Raw. It is resilient and maybe a little bit lucky at times. But she has made the most of each and every outing inside of the ring. But it just got squashed by Piper Niven there off the black hole slam. But luckily the women's champion still with something left in the tank. Piper Niven overhand shot. Oh no. Torture rack position, down goes Jade. The competitive rivalry, yet mutual respect between Cora Jade and Bianca Belair. They stand alongside tonight against a game Piper Niven and Chelsea Green, and it may come back to haunt them. Bianca Belair throwing a haymaker. Not enough to get Piper Niven's eye off the ball. Even in defeat, Piper looked great in the six-woman tag team matchup back at Madison Square Garden. Was beating those four horsewomen pillar to post. Victory was the absence on that night. And her and Chelsea looking for a different story here tonight in Chicago. Laura Jay just trying to find herself a way to get back into this matchup. Needs that lucky spot that has benefited her in recent months. Another kick out that time. Gotta wonder what Bianca Belair is feeling tonight. What's going through her mind after accepting this tag team ta ta tag team challenge, excuse me, by Chelsea and Piper and Ivan only for Raw management to pin Cora Jade as her tag team partner. Obviously, Cora itching to get inside the squared circle at her hometown, but Bianca Belair may not be too pleased about it. Cora Jade. 
nearly defeating Chelsea Green that time. Green still got something left in her tank. Bianca Belair looking on at ringside. At Cora Jade, the woman who currently houses the prize she so desires, the WWE Women's title. Back and forth we go here as Chelsea Green now flipping the difference in this tag team matchup, but things are not over yet. Cora Jade's been in for a few minutes, has taken some great offense by Green and Piper and Ivan. Now, more than any, may need a tag to the EST. I don't think Bianca Belair is going to turn away a tag from that women's champion. Bianca realizes that tonight is yet just another opportunity to hopefully catch a victory and continue to get herself in the line of fire to become number one contender. A lot of layers on this tag team matchup tonight as Chelsea Green and Piper Niven look to eradicate Cora and Bianca. Face first into the buckle. Cora trying to crawl away. Piper Niven on her tail. Here comes Bianca Belair. There goes Bianca Belair. Piper Niven, oh, wait a minute, turning her sights to Cora Jade and just folded up the champion like an accordion. Meanwhile, the EST, all the strength in the world, face first, goes Niven. Bianca now into the cover. And that might have been all had Chelsea Green not still been on the soles of her boots. Oh, anyway, Bianca Belair. In no mood tonight to deal with Chelsea and Piper taking out Chelsea Green. Well, you got Piper and Ivan and Cora Jade going out of that ringside. Referee John Cohn obviously has his hands full in the midst of this tag team matchup with a lot of combustible elements. Bianca once again cutting Piper in half. Bianca Belair, all the strength in the world, but will it be enough to topple Piper Niven as well as Chelsea Green, live and in living color here in Chicago, Illinois. Down goes Chelsea again, my goodness. Bianca, eyes locked on Piper. Could be going for a KOD, but Piper Niven not gonna allow Bianca to even get her in position. Just taking the rug right out from underneath of her. And now it's Bianca who's in trouble. On the shoulders of Piper and face first goes the EST. Bianca nearly a casualty to Piper Niven and Chelsea Green here tonight. Just as I'm sure they would so hope. Gotta imagine Chelsea and Piper are looking at this matchup. Not only a way to turn their momentum around, but maybe to start down a road to becoming the top contenders for the women's tag team titles. Always a possibility as well as Bianca Belair getting ragdolled and beat down by Piper Niven. At least she was momentarily. Trying to create some distance here, but Piper Niven just not allowing it. Talk about the improvement of several women on Monday Night Raw this year. Piper Niven in that same category. What strength off the reversal by the EST. Tag made the Chelsea Green. Bianca now not looking to allow anything to come out of the Chelsea Piper corner. Once again, strutting her stuff. Strength on display. Down goes Green. And a little something for Piper as well. Bianca clearly fired up tonight. Chelsea on the shoulders. Bianca said, I will do it myself. KOD. As the champion looks on to a woman who has got to have her eyes on the champion. What a victory for the WWE Women's Champion and Cora Jade and a hell of a showcase for the EST, Bianca Belair, here tonight. That competitive rivalry, yet mutual respect, bleeds into a resilient tag team who get the job done here in Chicago. Here are your winners, the Bianca Belair. Oh, wait a minute. 
Bianca Belair staring right into the heart of Cora Jade. Cora knows what Bianca wants. They got the job done tonight, but there is a bigger story here. Bianca wants Cora one-on-one -on -one with the gold on the line. After no mercy is shown and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way, live on Saturday night, October 19th, from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane, and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown, and No Nation Gaming channel memberships proudly present WWE Bad Blood. We want to take you back to last week here on Raw. A developing story as Mr. Money in the Bank Braun Breaker waltzed into a handicap match against the Authors of Pain. Baron Corbin unable to attend Raw last week. Bar Braun Breaker really believing that the final testament had a lot to do with that. But nonetheless, Braun Breaker went at it alone and unfortunately after a resilient effort was taken down by the AOP. But the story here is this. The ever-looming issues between Karrion Cross and Braun Breaker and the Harbinger of Doom is looking to bring those to an end. He has challenged Braun Breaker to a casket match. There has not been a casket match in WWE for quite some time. Karrion Cross so hell-bent on destroying Breaker, he wants to close the casket on his career for good. Remains to be seen if Breaker will accept that challenge. Well, a developing story there, but we must move forward here at the season premiere of Raw as the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Coming up next as Dirty Dominic Mysterio defends against the street champ, Solo Sokoa. But Braun Breaker, not the only man walking out of Raw last week with some bruised up bodies. We take a look at Solo Sokoa and his road to becoming number one contender. Solo not 100% coming into Chicago tonight, and that is because of the actions of Bronson Reed. You see here this power bomb by the big man on the street champ. Solo believes it damaged his ribs in the midst of the gauntlet match last week. Let adrenaline fueled him and continued to fight. Was able to survive Bronson Reed, then walked into the monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman, and somehow found a way to survive Braun, although his ribs had to be screaming for mercy. Solo says his ribs are not 100%. He is feeling the wounds, but walks into Chicago nonetheless. Battered and bruised coming out of last week's gauntlet match or not. An intercontinental championship opportunity, something that nobody is going to bat an eye at. The street champ, not only with a score to settle with Dirty Dom, but hopes to win his first singles championship since joining the main roster here on Monday Night Raw last year. Solo Sokoa, you see, with tape around those ribs, certainly will be a target for Dirty Dom throughout this matchup. Wait a minute! Dominic Mysterio ambushing Solo with the Intercontinental title. Solo Sokoa laid out in the aisle way by Dirty Dom. And I believe I just heard a bell. This matchup is underway. Well, I don't know why referee John Cone has already called for the bell when these two men are not even inside the ring yet. But I, I guess this Intercontinental Championship contest is underway. Solo Sokoa already walking into this matchup with damaged ribs thanks to that powerbomb by Braun Strowman and then the battles that commenced afterwards. Obviously just in the heat of combat, accidental things can happen. Solo Sokoa walking out here nonetheless with that target on his ribs and Dirty Dominic Mysterio still looking to get an extra advantage. Well, this matchup is underway, ladies and gentlemen. The Intercontinental title is on the line here in the All-State Arena. 
These two men met back in the month of May in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament. Solo Sokoa knocked out of that tournament via countout on that night, was then put through the announce table by Damian Priest moments later. Solo's been out to get Dom one-on-one -on -one ever since, and now he's got the Intercontinental Championship opportunity, but this can't be how Solo Sokoa dreamt it up. Oh no, on the outside. And Dominic Mysterio looking to rub salt in the wounds. Already bruised ribs. And now, three amigos at ringside. And Dom's not letting up. Dom realizes Solo Sokoa is hurt. That Solo Sokoa went through the gauntlet match last week. Did not come out unscathed, but is here trying to fight nonetheless. Dom heading to the top. Going for a double stomp to the ribs. Solo was able to dodge it. Well, Solo has proven to be tough as nails in the past. Obviously cannot be near 100%. Is obviously coming in with a target. Is obviously coming in hurt. But he is here to fight and get his pound of flesh against Dirty Dom. Winning the Intercontinental Championship. Hopefully all in the process. Dom sent to the outside, just getting ragdolled here. Solo Sokoa may just be looking to try to delay any kind of action and just get a little bit of R&R &R in the process. Sending Dom back inside the ring, that's where Solo Sokoa needs to be if he wants to win the Intercontinental Championship tonight. Dirty Dominic Mysterio with the ambush in the aisle way. The shot with the Intercontinental Championship to the back of the neck, which is certainly not going to favor Solo Sokoa that much either. But here's the street champ fighting nonetheless. Dominic Mysterio down, but you see Solo Sokoa a little discombobulated, a little bit slow to capitalize. Trying to do all he can. Super kick right to the jaw. Solo starting a rally here in Chicago. Solo making his way through Big Brunson Reed. Then inevitably the monster of all monsters last week in Braun Strowman spinning Solo. And he nearly won the Intercontinental title. Damaged ribs or not, Solo Sokoa came to Chicago with one mission. And unfortunately, Dirty Dom may not allow it. Spinning Solo nearly caught the champion and took away his prestigious gold. But now here's Dom looking to turn the tables. And you hate to give the devil his due, but we have seen before our very eyes the improvement in Dirty Dominic Mysterio throughout 2024 since joining the Judgment Day, winning the Intercontinental Championship. He has continued to get better, and that does not favor Solo Sokoa. That super kick certainly will. May not have gotten the three count, but at least took Dom off his feet for a few moments. Dirty Dominic Mysterio up against the ropes. You see Solo ain't getting fancy, ain't getting pretty. Just trying to do all he can to wear Dom down. Street Champ may be coming in. A battle damaged warrior tonight, but the prize of the utmost importance. Oh no, Solo Sokoa willing to throw caution in the wind in the means of success. Headbutt off the top. Looking like a wild Samoan into the cover. And once again, was within inches of Intercontinental Gold. Dominic Mysterio still in this matchup as Solo Sokoa putting his own body in harm's way. Every movement, every sudden impact, and of course every bit of offense by Dom adding on to the already injuries of Solo Sokoa. And now a 619. Followed up by the halo, right to the ribs. Dom into the cover. Solo still alive. Dom thought he had it. Solo kicked out. He survived, but he certainly isn't thriving as Mysterio heads to the top. Frog splash on the street champ. But once again, Solo Sokoa kicks out. 
Dominic Mysterio thought he had it. Hustling up, going back to the top. A second frog splash to the rib cage. That's it. This one is unfortunately over. Solo Sokoa came in, a damaged individual. And unfortunately, Dominic Mysterio continues to hold dominion over that Intercontinental Championship. Oh, hold on now. This match is over. Solo Sokoa is probably just trying to catch his breath at ringside. And here's Dom sending him right into those diamond-plated steps. This is why every arena we go to hates this man's guts. Oh, hold on a second. Dom attacking Solo at ringside. But I believe Brunson Reed is making his way to the squared circle. Well, Brunson Reed's got to be feeling a little bit of guilt after he unintentionally may have cracked a rib of Solo Sokoa last week. Brunson Reed now coming to the aid. Tsunami on the Intercontinental Champion. Nothing Reed can do about the past, but can certainly make up for it in the future. Aiding Solo Sokoa in Dominic Mysterio's beatdown here in Chicago. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a No Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of Universe Mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how Universe Mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more Universe than ever before. We're back live here in Chicago for the season premiere of Raw. The 2024 Queen of the Ring winner taking down Liv Morgan as well as Raquel Rodriguez in the semifinals and then inevitably the finals less than two weeks ago in Madison Square Garden. Tiffany Stratton etches her name in the annals of history as the inaugural Queen of the Ring winner. And of course, will meet the WWE Women's Champion, whoever that may be, this coming November at Survivor Series. But Tiffany Stratton, Thrown right back into the line of fire. This return matchup from the semifinals of the tournament as Liv Morgan is oh so desperate to bounce back and get herself back to the top of Monday Night Raw. Liv Morgan, certainly a woman who has faced some highest of highs and lowest of lows throughout 2024, winning the WWE Women's title at WrestleMania, losing it just a few months later, bouncing back in the midst of the Queen of the Ring tournament, only to fall short to Tiffany Stratton in the semifinal bout. Liv Morgan recognizes that Stratton sits atop the queendom here on Monday Night Raw and awaits the future women's champion at Survivor Series. Well, Liv Morgan looking to get herself back on the right track in this Madison Square Garden return match from New York City to Chicago. Liv Morgan and Tiffany Stratton go at it once again. And obviously Liv Morgan not looking to make any similar mistakes that she may have made less than two weeks ago in the Garden. 
becomes a high stakes matchup for Liv Morgan tonight. A victory over the Queen of the Ring winner and a future challenger for the women's title. You gotta believe puts Liv Morgan in some kind of conversation for future championship opportunities here on Raw. We want to invite you to become a No Nation Gaming channel member. All the while this action progresses here in Chicago. Hit the join button down below or the link up in the cards. Gain your access to Halloween Havoc. Not one but two live premiere events going down on Saturday night, October the 12th and Saturday night, October the 26th. Exclusive to No Nation Gaming channel members. Of course, bad blood coming up in between those two dates on October the 19th, Saturday night as well. But before Bad Blood goes live, the exclusive kickoff show featuring in-ring action and more only for No Nation Gaming channel members. Again, hit that join button down below or the link up in the cards. Don't miss your opportunity to punch your golden ticket to all that exclusive action. All the while, Liv Morgan and Tiffany Stratton continue on their fight here in Chicago. Liv Morgan seeing a window of opportunity that time to try to keep down the Queen of the Ring. Look at Tiffany Stratton's road to winning the entire tournament. Defeating Natalia in the first round, Bailey in the quarterfinals, Liv Morgan in the semis, and then Raquel Rodriguez from SmackDown in the finals. Whether you like Tiffany Stratton's attitude or not, nobody can deny the path she took to becoming the queen of the ring and earning herself that future championship opportunity in November. Liv Morgan, however, recognizing Tiffany Stratton has been on the top of her game. Is going to knock Stratton off her pedestal here tonight. Missile drop kick. Stratton, I believe, might have just swatted it away. Crash and burn there. Don't call it high risk, high reward for nothing. And now Stratton looking to take the most advantage off a misstep by a former women's champion in her own right. And Liv Morgan knows what it's like to be on the opposite end of a matchup against Tiffany Stratton. She has defeated Stratton in the past going all the way back to Backlash in April. The one and only successful defense in the championship reign for Liv Morgan. Tiffany Stratton winning the return matchup back at Queen of the Ring. They kind of find themselves in a rubber match here tonight in Chicago as Stratton coming off the top with a swanton bomb. And nearly had Liv Morgan beat once again, but Liv getting the shoulder up once more. Liv Morgan not challenging Tiffany Stratton to this return matchup here tonight just to find the same result that she did less than two weeks ago. Liv now into the ropes. And code breaker sends Stratton for a whirlwind. Liv Morgan might have just put this matchup away. Or maybe not. Stratton showing her toughness back in Madison Square Garden and does it so again right in the face of a desperate Liv Morgan. Both these women jockeying for position now. Liv trying to get her hands on Stratton. Stratton trying to create a little bit of distance. And the ropes goes Liv. Stratton showing her agility as she always does in between the ropes. Another reversal there by Morgan. Liv Morgan may willing to break this thing down to a brawl if need be. That's for damn sure. Anything she's got to do to try to find victory tonight. Now it's Liv showing a little speed and agility and a nice takedown. Monday Night Raw Women's Division on fire as of late. So many emerging talents and all these superstars looking to get back to the promised land. Liv Morgan not looking to get lost in the shuffle. Wants her opportunity once again. Tiffany Stratton knocked to the outside. Liv Morgan in hot pursuit as she comes off the apron and knocks Stratton down to size. Don't forget this Wednesday on Velocity, one of Raw's newest signees, Lyra Valkyria, set to go one on one with the Unholy Union's Alba Fire, or excuse me, the Unholy Union's Isla Dawn. Lyra, Lyra Valkyria defeating Alba Fire last week right here on Monday Night Raw. That just goes to show you the depth and the ever-growing Raw Women's Division. Tiffany Stratton has emerged from it throughout 2024, becoming the Queen of the Ring winner. Liv Morgan may be feeling the pressure starting to mount. Stratton now trying to get back in this matchup, bringing Liv into the corner. Morgan may be in trouble as Stratton looks to send Liv to the back of the line. Off the corkscrew, but Morgan's still alive. 
Tiffany Stratton, although young and successful, may still be a little bit naive to think Liv Morgan was just going to go down that quick. Chicago on their feet as these two women throw in some live rounds. Stratton once again gets the shoulder off. A lot of near falls in this Queen of the Ring return matchup. Off the spin kick right to the jaw. Liv Morgan thought she had Stratton that time. And now it's Tiffany once more knocking Morgan down. These two women starting to get familiar with each other's playbooks. We've seen plenty of reversals just as we've seen near falls throughout this contest. And now Stratton may be about to pass the finish line first. Off the crossbody, Liv Morgan finds herself back against the wall, or shall I say the canvas. Off the slam from Alabama to Illinois. And now Liv Morgan in the corner as Stratton is stacking the offense brick by brick. Liv Morgan may rue the day. She tried to step into the ring with one Queen of the Ring winner once again. It may only be yet another detriment to Liv Morgan's current momentum. Coming off the top of the swanton. Been there, done that. Liv not looking to be on the receiving end once more. Crucifix bomb. Not just yet. Liv Morgan is shown to be resilient in 2024. Even when you think she's down and out, she knows how to rise. Can she do so again here in Chicago? Here's Tiffany Stratton. Once again, just trying to run circles around Liv Morgan. Up she goes, Morgan once again, another reversal in this contest. But can Liv find a window of opportunity in this match? Back and forth, these two women go. Reversal for reversal. Pendulum momentum continues to swing. Liv Morgan, talk about swinging, throwing some kicks, throwing some shots, throwing some forearms. Frankensteiner takedown. And it starts to see as if Liv Morgan is feeling her mojo again. Liv oh so desperate to get back to the promised land. With so many women gunning, gunning for the top spot here on Monday Night Raw. Liv not looking to get lost in the shuffle as she sends Stratton to the outside. Morgan willing to do anything she's got to do. Even if it means throwing her own body in harm's way. Suicide dive, live and in living color. Stratton toppled on the outside of the ring. Oblivion at ringside. Desperate times, call for desperate measures. And Liv Morgan looking to throw anything she can at Tiffany Stratton to try to mix up the game plan. Off the suicide dive. Stratton face first at ringside. Dead center of the ring. But somehow Stratton is still in this matchup. Man, oh man. Liv Morgan's now got to be racking her brain. Trying to think of what she's got to do to keep down the queen of the ring. It's Stratton off another reversal back into the corner. Liv Morgan, but it just got caught. Tiffany, second corkscrew of the matchup. And this one's over. Oh, wait, hold on just a second. No time for celebration because the Queen Charlotte Flair is on the scene. Well, this is getting real interesting. Charlotte Flair, the original queen, who's set to return to in-ring action next week, staring eye to eye with the Queen of the Ring winner in Tiffany Stratton here on Raw. no mercy is shown and a queen is crowned the bad blood will boil over coming your way live on saturday night october 19th from the td garden in boston massachusetts witness the unforgiving high octane and high stakes action as raw smackdown and no nation gaming channel memberships proudly present wwe bad 
get blind! And as determined earlier tonight, for the first time in a WWE ring, CM Punk and AJ Styles will go one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Championship on Saturday night, October the 19th, live from Boston, Mass. And we can also confirm it is challenge accepted. Mr. Money in the Bank, Braun Breaker, will meet the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross in a casket matchup. These two men have been on a collision course to destroy one another for months. It all comes to an end on Saturday night, October the 19th, in the casket contest at Bad Blood. We also look forward to next month on Monday Night Raw, October the 21st to be exact, one of the hottest free agents in wrestling today arrives on the red brand, Jade Cargill, making her way to Raw in just a few weeks' time. And we saw her presence felt just a few moments ago, the Queen Charlotte Flair staring eye to eye with Queen of the Ring winner Tiffany Stratton, developing story there, but we know that Charlotte will be in action live next week on Raw from Indianapolis, Indiana. Some more women's division action sign as Bailey and Becky Lynch look to continue down the road of success here on Raw. They run into Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. This matchup could have some huge women's tag team title implications. And Big Brunson Reed with some unfortunate blood on his hands tried to do one good by Solo Sokoa earlier tonight, saving him from Dirty Dom's assault. But Big Brunson Reed runs into Shinsuke Nakamura next week. Nakamura hell bent on retribution after Reed ran him over in the gauntlet last week on Raw. All that coming your way next week from Indianapolis. But that is next week, and we are still signed for a main event right here from Chicago on the season premiere edition of Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Finn Balor, representing the Judgment Day from New York City. Weighing in at 249 pounds, one half of the world tag team champions, Damian Priest. Damian Priest has defeated Solo Sokoa in one-on-one -on -one action. The Judgment Day eradicating the Usos, banishing them from Monday Night Raw back at No Mercy a few weeks ago. Damian Priest is itching for the hat trick. He called out Roman Reigns to return to Raw right here tonight so that the Judgment Day could finally rid themselves of all their issues with the bloodline once and for all. And ask and you shall receive the head of the table, the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, certainly was not gonna be one to turn away this challenge by one half of the world tag team champions. When Roman Reigns returned to Raw back in the month of July, he was ambushed by Seth Rollins, somebody who had aligned with the Judgment Day in hopes of taking care of the bloodline issue here on the red brand. 
Of course, we saw what happened to that partnership when Roman Reigns, Solo Sokoa, and the Usos had turned away the Judgment Day and Rollins in eight-man tag team action last month at SummerSlam. Damian Priest putting Seth Rollins on the shelf 48 hours later with a beatdown in the backstage area that spilled out to the arena, a south of heaven on the concrete floor. That is what Priest was willing to do to Seth Rollins just to send a message to the rest of the bloodline and all of Monday Night Raw. Imagine what he's going to be willing to do, the lengths he's going to be willing to travel to take down the tribal chief once and for all here tonight. Roman Reigns walks in a lone man. Solo Sokoa obviously in no condition to come out here and watch the back of the Tribal Chief. Jay and Jimmy no longer welcomed here on Monday Night Raw. Roman Reigns walks into battle against Damian Priest as this matchup in the Raw main event has kicked off. Of course, Finn Balor looming in the distance, watching over the corner of the Archer of Infamy tonight. The Judgment Day always seemingly have the numbers game, and even when the bloodline finally even the score, and it looked as if the Judgment Day had finally been neutralized at SummerSlam in August, look what the men in the black and purple have done in the month of September. Whether it's taking care of Solo Sokoa, getting rid of the Usos, now Roman Reigns arrival after a call out by Damian Priest. Objective to eliminate the bloodline may be fulfilled after tonight. Priest going skyward and is all over the tribal chief since the opening bell. Roman Reigns obviously coming to Raw tonight, hoping to do one good by his cousins, who are eradicated for the red brand, back in the tables, ladders, and chairs match at no mercy. But so far, it is all Damian Priest with Finn Balor looming, and Roman Reigns in enemy territory right now. I do not like the Tribal Chief's chances. Referees at a count of eight, I believe. Roman hustling up. There's Damian Priest making his way back inside the ring. And Roman Reigns right into his waiting arms. Down goes Priest! And no swords of history between these two men either. You remember when Roman Reigns targeted Seth Rollins? Back in London, England in July, Priest was hot on that scene, going after Roman, and choke slammed him right through the announce table at ringside. Roman Reigns, I'm sure, is keeping that in the back of his mind as he looks to get it out to flesh out of Priest tonight. We're gonna talk about a high-profile night. Star-studded here on Monday Night Raw, here at Chicago, Illinois, as everybody in the All-State Arena seemingly acknowledges their tribal chief. Roman now going for an early cover on Damian Priest. And I think he knew he wasn't gonna get the victory that time putting Priest in a position to extend some energy and also maybe get to the psyche of Damien. Oh, man! I don't care what Roman Reigns' intentions were with that pinfall a few moments ago. Damien Priest, the one coming out on top, at least for a moment as he gets set to the corner. Oh, no, wait a minute! I believe Priest just pulled referee John Cone into harm's way. Balor has slid Priest a steel chair. Luckily for Roman Reigns, he's able to watch his own back. Damian Priest knocked down. The Judgment Day trying to use their numbers against the Tribal Chief. Hold on, he's got that steel chair again and right to the dome of Roman Reigns. Priest and Balor will they leave any stone unturned as Roman gets sent to the outside off the chair shot and referee John Cones getting to his feet trying to keep up with the action here in Chicago. Roman Reigns set to the ring. Damian Priest looking to take advantage of a man who could be knocked silly there. Roman Reigns able to pop the shoulder up but you gotta believe some damage has been done Priest knocking down John Cone. He could say unintentionally, but I think Priest knew exactly what he was doing and took advantage of the wasted eyes. 
Now Roman set in the corner, and the Judgment Day, as we mentioned, willing to leave no stone unturned, trying to do anything they can to once and for all take care of the bloodline here tonight. Take down the Tribal Chief. Take out the hopes and the spirit. Complete the trilogy for Damian Priest as he down, takes down Roman Reigns. There's a kick out that time. Imagine the confidence boost, the feather in the cap for one half of the World Tag Team Champions and Damian Priest if he can be solely responsible for taking care of each and every member of the bloodline. Roman rolling to the outside. He is certainly looking worse for wear. If Priest has done anything, he has taken the wind out of the sails of Roman and has certainly deflated Chicago, at least for a moment. Roman trying to get back into this matchup off the boot. It was all Priest after that steel chair shot a few minutes ago. Back inside the ring we go. Roman Reigns trying to play catch up here. Superman punch by the Tribal Chief. And now Roman into the corner. With a spear on Damien. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Finn Balor grabbing the boot of Roman Reigns at ringside. Roman's got this matchup won right now. Priest is out cold, but he is distracted by the likes of Finn Balor. This is why Priest was accompanied by his other half of the World Tag Team Champions tonight to watch his back and to ensure that Roman Reigns sees no opportunity for victory. Roman easily had this matchup won that time. The Superman punch, the spear, unfortunately Finn Balor taking the Tribal Chief's eye off the ball. And now it's Damian who's looking to take the most advantage, but Roman's still got something left. May have been sent for a whirlwind off that steel chair a few moments ago. Was able to shake it off, but after a south of heaven, that may be all she wrote. Not just yet, Roman Reigns still alive. This one is personal for the Tribal Chief. Roman Reigns not looking to be another stepping stone for the Judgment Day. You see what they have done to Solo Sokoa, the battered man that he was looking at earlier tonight. Jay and Jimmy Uso sent packing, and Roman Reigns may not be far behind him. Oh no, Roman Reigns wasted out on the outside, and now it's Damian Priest taking things to the air. Roman Reigns looking up at the roof of Allstate Arena, dazed, confused, and maybe a broken, beaten man. And Priest may be about to coast to victory. But this one's not over yet. Roman Reigns still in it. Roman Reigns continuing to try and brush off anything Damian Priest and even Finn Balor have thrown his way so far tonight. Roman Reigns made a career of having his back against the wall and fighting against the powers that be in order to become the Tribal Chief today. A man who has accomplished all there is to accomplish, walked away from this industry over two years ago, returned earlier this year, and I'm sure did not expect he was going to find himself in the midst of such a personal warfare. Off the misstep, Priest almost caught him, but now here's Roman Reigns. Not over yet. Roman now. Gut wrench as he takes down Damian Priest and hopes to put this whole situation behind the bloodline once and for all here tonight. Roman Reigns came back in 2024, had his eyes on Gunther on SmackDown, the World Heavyweight Championship. Obviously greener pastures, some that look a lot better than what he's been dealing with with Priest, Balor and company. Just when you think Roman's got a window, Damian Priest and even Finn Balor have found ways to take down Roman Reigns. 
And once again on the outside, how many times is Finn Balor going to be allowed to put his hands on Roman? I don't care if he's sending him right back inside the ring. That's not what he's there to do. We need referee Rod Sapata out here. He's been a lot more even when it comes to the Judgment Day. Referee John Cone letting a lot slide tonight if you ask me. And this one was almost over. But Roman Reigns continues to turn away Damian Priest. Roman struggling to get to his feet as now Damian sends Roman into the opposing buckles and you see the fatigue and the damage is playing a massive factor. Roman Reigns collapsing in the corner. Creating a little bit of distance at times. Second Superman punch goes right into the cover. Priest gets the shoulder off. Roman Reigns, oh well, I was about to say, went right to the cover off the Superman punch. Did not allow Finn Balor to be an X Factor, but now once again, here's Finn Balor distracting Roman Reigns, and into the corner he goes. John Cohn's got to get the Prince a hell, the hell away from ringside. Once again, just when you think Roman Reigns is back into this matchup. Well, he's got Damian Priest, sends him into the ropes, going for a spear. Priest went high instead of going low. Last ditch reversal, and down goes the Tribal Chief again. Roman Reigns looking like a shell of himself thanks to the numbers game of the Judgment Day tonight. And now hoisted on top as Damian Priest looking to spell disaster. Oh no, what has he got in mind here? Could we go for a Frankensteiner? Power bomb reversal by Roman. Oh, come on, again, Finn Balor waving and screaming like a baby at ringside, distracting Roman Reigns, Priest from behind. Second South of Heaven delivered. The damn numbers game of the Judgment Day just screwed Roman Reigns. That is absolutely ridiculous. Damian Priest called out Roman Reigns tonight because he knew exactly what could happen. The numbers of the Judgment Day outweighing Roman Reigns, who's got no family left to support. Oh, no. And now Priest has got a steel chair and is looking to rub some salt in the wounds, attacking Roman Reigns once again. The match is over. Oh, look at Finn Balor, like a kid in a candy store. What's his shot? The chair right off Roman Reigns' own flesh. The Judgment Day will continue to push their weight around until somebody finally steps up. Unfortunately, there may be nobody left. Damian Priest defeats Roman Reigns in an unfortunate closing moment to what has been an exciting season premiere of Monday Night Raw.